It's the biggest birthday bash in the Arklatex, and you're invited. Let's celebrate our freedom with the KTBS 3 KPXJ CW21 Independence Day Festival. Presented by the cities of Shreveport and Bossier, the law offices of Kirby Kelly, and El Dorado Resort Casino Shreveport. Now, let's go live to the banks of the Red River. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> I'm Ed Walsh. And I'm Sonia Bales, live at the Riverfront. Happy birthday, America. Boy, do we have a party planned for you tonight. The sun is just going down. The crowds starting to show up here at Festival Plaza, all for a big celebration. And you know what? It's not too bad out here because there's actually a gentle breeze. So a great night to gather over here on the river banks along the Red River. I tell you what, in the next three hours, it is worth coming down here for because we have some of the best entertainment that you're going to be able to find anywhere around, including the soulful sounds of Percy Sledge and the Aces Band, brought to you by Robert Ivey's Flooring America on the Kilpatrick Roseneed stage. Also, Centenary Summer Band, under the direction of Dr. Thomas Stone, will bring some music to our ears. We're also going to have a guest here tonight who will recite the Declaration of Independence on this 4th of July. And we're able to pull a few strings tonight. We're also arranged for a flyover by a B-52 bomber from Barksdale Air Force Base. And that is going to be right before we cap off all of the celebrations around 920 with the grand finale, a fireworks show like you have never seen before with more than a thousand shells and an explosive tribute to our nation's birthday. Now, don't worry if you can't make it down here. You've got a great seat there in the air condition. All you have to do is just grab a cold drink, sit back, relax and enjoy. Yeah, and if you do come down here, there are still plenty of cold drinks down here brought to us by Cantina Laredo. I was wondering why Marcy looks so cool this afternoon when we get down here. She's been at the missing tent all day. She's a smart girl. Yeah, what a job. All right, <laughs> another big excitement yet to come tonight. Around 8.30, leading up to the fireworks, the Centenary Summer Band, led by Dr. Thomas Stone, will be um, actually taken to the stage and performing for us. Yeah, he joins us now live along with his wife, Jennifer Dowd, from Jennifer Dowd's studio, whose, perform whose students performed just a little bit earlier in the evening. And uh, Jennifer will also be singing our national anthem for us in uh, just a little while before the fireworks. Yeah, Dr. Stone, I want to ask you, how did the Centenary Summer Band come to be, and, and what actually is the focus of the band? Well, the band started in 1957, which happens to be the same year I was born, and it was uh, started by Mr. B.P. Causey, uh, and they were in, in session for 30 years actually doing concerts in the band shell at Centenary College, and then there was a hiatus of about 13 years where there were no concerts, and then Bill, B.P.'s son Bill and I started the concerts back up in 2000, so this is our 10th year back. We're comprised of students and also faculty, Sh uh, Shreveport Symphony, retired military, also band directors. So so it's a whole mix of people from this community. It's really a professional band, and we are sponsored tonight by Arclatox Cardiology. And, and how many people will actually be, be performing tonight, and, and just what did it take to get ready for this big performance? I think it's 42 tonight, and we had one rehearsal. So we had to pack a lot into that rehearsal, and it's a very fast process. We rehearse one time, and then bang, we're on stage. That is unbelievable, just one practice. What can we expect tonight? What will they be performing? Well, we're going to start with a piece called American Overture, which is just a beautiful, peppy, wonderful, exuberant piece. Then my wife Jennifer is going to actually <laughs> sing three songs that are by a friend of ours named Jack Stamp, who's from Pennsylvania, but they're called Four Maryland Songs. Mm -hmm. We're singing three of them. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to feature Lindsay Felicia, who's a 16-year-old, uh, really talented singer. And uh, we're going to do an Armed Forces salute that we hope to coordinate with the flyover of the B-52. And if we get Very that right, it'll be it'll <laughs> send shivers up our spine. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, and Jennifer, we are really looking forward to your performance that uh, your husband was just talking about. Also, your students, uh, you have some very talented students. Tell us a little bit about them and uh, basically the age range. Well, we have four of the 30 in my studio today who performed earlier. And uh, the youngest person in the studio is actually a little bit younger than 10. She's uh, eight and uh, very active in the theater community. And we range all the way up to adult through adult. And I've been told not to disclose age. So, <laughs> very I smart. understand. <laughs> but we have a lot of really talented students students in the studio and uh, I was lucky to get four tonight. To and one of them even celebrating for what I understand their 11th birthday today yeah, on the 4th yeah, of July. Just, just turned 11 so uh, she was one of the featured performers this afternoon. She awesome. Really Happy birthday to her. So tell me are you nervous at all about singing the national anthem because face it that is not an easy song to sing. I try not to think about it. <laughs> and Sonia just had to bring it out, didn't night. she? <laughs> yes, yes. I try not to think about it. I've done it uh, several times before for the city, so I feel very confident, but I'm always 
present. I'm always guarded. I'm always thinking about what I'm doing and, and I'm so honored to do it for mm -hmm. you guys tonight. Well, we are honored to have you and we can't wait for it. We're looking forward to it and we thank you so much for turning out here to uh, talk with us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank Jennifer, you. thank you. Dr. Stone, thank you. thank you. Best of luck tonight. Break a leg as we like to say in show business, <laughs> but you. I heard you're warming up. You're going to be wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. thank you. Well, we have a lot more of our celebrations straight ahead. And as we head into the break, more tunes from Percy Sledge and the Aces Band. Stay with us. And who, uh, where Jennifer Dowd is also performing. I can hear in the waters rushing the token that God is nigh. Tis the hem of his garment rushing in resistless where the sands and the waters meet. Red River. Yeah, and taking to the stage right now is the Centenary Summer Band with Jennifer Dowd singing Let's Listen In. Centenary Summer Band on stage right now. What a beautiful shot on the banks of the Red River as we're gearing up for that spectacular 920 fireworks display over the Red for the people living in both Bossier City and Shreveport and elsewhere in the Arklatex. And what an incredible voice mm -hmm. Jennifer Dowd has and a great sound there from Centenary Summer Band under the direction of Dr. Thomas Stone. i tell you who's enjoying it is Shreveport Mayor Cedric Glover. He's joining us again. Uh, what have you been doing? Uh, kind of uh, mingling with the crowd? Spectacular performance wow. by Jennifer Dowd. All she did these an amazing people job. around us erupted in applause. She just has so, a gorgeous voice. And so I'm hoping right after this is going to be the spectacular fireworks show. I think so. Of course, you're going to have to.